You're listening to Rodney Rogers Outdoors Radio, where we turn it upside down and look at the outside from the inside out. It's safe, it's legal, and we're having a blast. So put your shoes on, my friend, because we're going outdoors. <laughs> Welcome to Rodney Rogers Outdoors. Finally... Man, we crashed right at uh, the the deal there, didn't we? But we're up and at them. Welcome to Rodney Rogers Outdoors. I am Rodney Rogers. That right there is Michael Muttley, the man himself, Coy. I've <laughs> missed you, Rodney. It's been a while. Technological genius right there. No, no, no. Technological. You have no idea how helpless I feel watching you run around here like a bumblebee, pushing buttons and, and all that good stuff. Well, some of the stuff we're using is cutting edge, and it's not. We are really, ahead of the cutting yeah, edge, actually. For those of you that don't know that Mike is our technological genius, he is in the beta, <laughs> apa, phyla, capa, <laughs> cala, pata, hippopotamus. He's ahead of the most. He gets the most recent stuff, and sometimes doesn't always work well with we what reap we do. The benefits and we reap the sorrows. We reap the sorrows so. at the same time, but we're usually ahead of the game when we can be. You can reach us a couple different ways. Yeah. Hashtag R R O R. You can reach us right there at the bottom at two six two three four five seven seven six three. Remember that number. That is our hotline because you can also text us right to that number if you have any questions. We're going to have an awesome guy on the show tonight. No sense of surprising you. It's going to be Vance from Line Cutters. He was on Shark Tank, if you remember. Um, we hung out at Vance's private party at the ICAST. And we were invited. Time. That was a good time. Was you won a fishing rod. And I won a McCain fishing. There's a lot I learned that night about McCain rods that I never knew. That really? I, I, I had fished with those rods for 30 years, right. and I still have four of his original rods you you met the man did you i not? met the man yeah uh, you know and, and to me that was a big deal um it's not an elvis presley it's a guy who, who I, I used to seek out the rods that he used to make they were called all straw rods and he sold that company and then he waited for several years and started his own so we got a lot to talk about we got a lot to squeeze in a short amount of time tonight mike we do and you know and and as you know i did go duck hunting <laughs> I see you over here like a bumblebee, man. No, I'm looking at the 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 <clears throat> duck behind you. Oh, he seems to have a mind of his own, and he seems to be changing directions. He is just doing his thing. He's like, <laughs> it is a redneck fan, by the way. For those of you that don't know, every Monday morning we are on 104.1 at eight o'clock every Monday. We talk about our adventures. They're kind enough to invite us in, and man, it is a blast for us. I mean, it's it's certainly a blast for us, um, <clears throat> and I'm I hope it's a blast for them. And we talk about our hunting adventure. We talk about what's coming up. Basically what we do here. But on there, we do a quick synopsis. And, you know, we just... <laughs> you do a great... That was awesome, Mike. I just want to say... Let's... <laughs> we, we... Let's mark... <laughs> we could almost... Mark this point. We could almost guess what was going to happen with that duck. You, you had it, dude. <laughs> I just before we go, we did get a, a minute and a half of this, and then you guys caught the wife's priceless <laughs> vase breaking. I'm worried about the duck. How's the wings, dude? I yeah. got so many of those wings. <laughs> Let's see how the duck goes. Oh, he's alive and well, brother. <laughs> he is alive and well, oh, Mike. This God. is going to be one of them shows. <laughs> Where that was priceless. Everything just and let me point out this is a mojo. <laughs> <laughs> with that's why we call Mike Muttley the man himself. If that's not a Muttley laugh, I do not know what is. <laughs> oh, I love it. I needed that. Mike, sometimes Somehow. you're the fire hydrant. <laughs> sometimes you the dog. <laughs> Can I stay the night with you, Rodney? Yes. Yes. Bare feet, I'm going to go So we went duck hunting, um, and we got to hunt with my nephew, Todd, who never shot a duck. And I, you know what was funny is uh, uh, Sunday morning, it was super cold. And um, <laughs> Todd's sitting up there. You can see him. It's the picture you're looking at right now. 
Uh, he's sitting up there just mining his own. I was freezing. I did not take a jacket. It was about 49 degrees that Oof. morning. I, I kind of underestimated. Yeah. And I'm just in a long sleeve, you know, shirt. And I looked at Todd sitting there like you see him right there with the shotgun. And I said, hey, uh, for survival factors, we're going to have to get naked and snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> And he gave me this weird look, and I said, I'm freezing, buddy, so... <laughs> Which takes us to the next picture. Oh, <laughs> Which no, takes... that's not... <laughs> <laughs> Which takes us to the next... So, uh, but there we are. We're just hunting ducks, and I tell you, it, it, Mike, it, it's so... It's beyond the the, 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 the the harvesting of the duck itself. It really is. Uh, watching... The, we've had... T- we had two beautiful sunrises. We, did. we yeah. had sunset... The beautiful yeah. sunsets. It was just absolutely amazing. I mean, you just, uh, I, I wish, I wish I could have everyone there with me during that time. And, and I did FaceTime live and, and I, I caught some ridicule for being on my phone during this amazing time. But I just feel like the people who are not enjoying that moment, you know, and it's the same way with fishing or hunt. I mean, you're just, they're like, well, I, I just couldn't kill nothing. Sure. I'll tell you what, sit in a tree stand without a gun one time. Find someone, find a, a, a nature advocate that sits in their tree stand for 10 hours for no reason. Right. You, you know what I mean? <clears throat> um, I've done that. Sure. I mean, of course, I took a gun. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not necessarily for no reason. But I have passed up on deer and just watched them. I passed up on elk. I've, I've taken my duck boat, duck hunting with my duck dog and not shot a duck that flew in my decoys. So you went out both days. Went out both days. Um, our first day, we didn't even fire a shot. We, we basically just all around picked up the wrong location. Uh, there was people in my normal location. And, and we got, you know, it was, it was, it, it was not a fail, though. You know, he, Todd got to see some ducks flying. I was pointing out the ducks. That's a ringer. You know, that, that's, see how low that's sure. flying? Yeah. You know, that, that's teal. That, that's, oh, okay, okay. So it wasn't a fail. I mean, it wasn't a total loss. Right. I mean, it was these, you see how they're flashing silver. You know, they look silver and blah, blah, blah. You know, it, so it was a, I'm hoping it was a learning lesson, f- sure. you know, f- for Todd as well. So, I, I, you know what? I Honestly, I didn't even ask him. Maybe I should have asked him and said, hey, dude, you know, how was it for you? I I know he had a blast. Yeah. You know, I, I know he did. Sure. You know, so um, it, it just it was just absolutely, positively. So where would you end up at? So we ended up on Lake Toho. We did go to Lake Toho, and we, we hunted out of our canoes that day. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. I, <laughs> in a canoe, I'm like a ninja. I laid down and slept in the canoe. I laid down in a canoe. You ever laid down in a canoe? Not intentionally. It? No. <laughs> not intentionally. Not, not on purpose. And uh, you know what's funny is your movements are so slight because you're afraid you'll shut something down. Uh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? I did. I did Just notice that. Just my eyeballs are moving back and forth. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Uh, Mama's looking at her broken <laughs> base right now. You can't kill him on the show. We have witnesses. <laughs> She's, I got the eye, Mike, for you. Here, let me give it to you. <laughs> Thanks for softening it for me. <laughs> oh, no, it was what I couldn't really mimic it. It was, it was the eye. The old Forrest Whitaker oh, eye. You that's know. hilarious. So, um, so what'd you harvest then? So we harvested ringers. We, you know, we, we shot overall for the weekend uh, eight, nine ringers, ten ringers, something like that. Okay. Somewhere around there. Um we had a, a, a teal come in at 227 miles an hour. Everything kind of comes in at, at its right time. These ducks are, are smart machines, man. I mean, the teal it flies about eight feet off the water at 25 miles an hour. So, you know, it, it's it's absolutely amazing. Oh, you know what? Let me, uh, I probably should give Vance the number. Um, <laughs> should I do that? Yeah, make sure he calls the right number. In yeah. The meantime, while you're doing that. 262. Um, Todd just... Uh, Twittered in, by the way, if you're watching, you can hashtag RROR on Twitter, and uh, we will see your questions real time or your comments. Uh, Todd says, it was a great time, even though I still haven't harvested a duck yet. I learned a lot and will gladly do it again. That's what I, you Thank know, you. I, I, I think I need to sit down with Todd and go, you know, hey, you're not sit down. I'd like to have him. Actually, I'd like to have him on the show. Um, maybe sure. we'll, we'll get him in not? before duck season's out. Let me ask you this then. Yes. Duck season is not out, Mm-mm. right? Mm-mm. That was the first weekend it runs through. This weekend. Oh, so it's really just two weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks down. the first time around. Okay. 
So we have a two-week window. Then we have a break, which is where our camping trip comes in. Right. We do that on purpose. Yep. That's why we yep. do what we yep. do when we do it. We sandwich. We sandwich in between the duck seasons. The very following weekend, duck season starts back up. Okay. And then poof, we're good. We, we duck hunt until January. So let's say, let's say, let me throw round numbers out. You harvested 10 ducks. 10 ducks. Can you go out and get another 10 this weekend? Absolutely. Okay. Well, no, no. Okay. First thing, I'll, I'll give first you that answer. first. Let's take it. <laughs> I'm going to guess this is the man himself. Vance, how are you, buddy? Good. How are you, right? I am well, everybody. Vance, I'm going to give you a quick call out. We, we are live. We finally got the system up and running. We had a little crash. For those of you that are listening, this is Vance. Vance, how do you say your last name? Is it Zahorsky? Zahorsky. Zahorsky. Okay. It's not like the crystal, right? It's, it's, it's... <laughs> yeah, correct. I wish it was the crystal. Yeah, I'd you be making was... some real money. Dude, we wouldn't be, you wouldn't be pushing the line cutters then, would you? <laughs> Vance, right. how I'd are be you? i somewhere. For those of you that are listening, you know, uh, I kind of kind of pre-posted our picture of, you know, we're going to have Vance on the night. And, and Vance had called me earlier. And the excitement was like, and I wanted to capture that excitement of, of you know, we all watched you on line cutters. I think we all felt, for those of all of us that, that love you to death, man, I think we were all standing right there with you, man. So I'm just going to shoot to the point and go, how'd you feel? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was intense. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is the I was actually there in June and did the recording in June oh, where they okay. filmed Batman at yeah in Sony Studios. So wow. I've had to keep quiet this whole time, Holy which smokes. was very difficult. <laughs> but at, but at the end of the day, I I didn't know how they were going to edit it. So so in a, in a weird way, it was kind of like I was you know it was new to me too. I was just like a viewer, like no, exactly, know I, exactly I made it special, yeah. Exactly. So, so you're on you're on the set. You're there in June. Now, you and I have spoken in between that time, and you basically you couldn't tell me anything. I'm not good at secrets. I, I suck. I'm the <laughs> I can't hand I can't buy presents early. That's why I buy them on Christmas Eve because I can't wait. That that's just not me. So, I mean, so here you are. You're you're pent up, man. You're like you're 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 like ugh, and. I mean, how do you how did you get through that? Well, they make it real easy. <laughs> okay. You sign about a hundred documents that say, you know, you'll lose it, you know, everything if you say anything. So they they actually make it pretty easy. Okay, yeah. so it's easy to keep your mouth shut. That's <laughs> so I saw something <laughs> on the show. I saw you pull a ring out of your pocket. Now, Vance, I don't think I've ever heard your startup story. You know give me a synopsis of your startup story. It was absolutely amazing, man. Yeah. So, you know, like a lot of us that listeners on right now, you know, you, you bite your fishing line with your teeth. I've done it. Oh, yeah. a 20 pound mono, nothing macho. You know, that's how I cut my line. I chipped my teeth twice over the years. <laughs> and, the, and the straw that broke the camel's back was I was surf fishing at a buddy's wedding in Florida, right near Sandestin. And uh, threw a casting net, caught a mullet, cut it up, casted it out, caught a black tip. And when I got it to the beach, it flipped up in my line. So I ran back to get my tackle, my knife off my tackle box that I'd cut the cut the bait up with, and it fallen in the sand and I, I almost cut my little toe off. And and that's really where I was just like, damn it, I can't deal with this anymore. I, right. I was just wearing my board shorts, and that's <laughs> that's where the idea kind of popped in my head. <laughs> And, and and that's amazing. As fishermen, we're always uh, uh, pushing, you know, the the simplicity of things. I personally use your line cutters. To me, I've got it on three or four rods, and it's just it's 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 heaven sent. Um, I will tell you, I will give you. I'm gonna print a shirt that says Kawick. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely one of my favorite, you know, words that you said throughout the whole show. We were all glued to that, man. So here you are. You're past it. You, you know, for those of you who don't know, you got your you got a deal. Did you have a number? Like, did you say, I, I don't want to go over this number. I kind of want to stay around this area. Did you go over your comfort zone? I mean, did they kind of push you to that limit? Absolutely. Uh, my best friend, dad that I've known since four is a very successful businessman. And, you know, he kind of prepped me and 
you know, you just said you need to go in there with your absolute stop limit. And that was 25%. Oh. But I wanted the deal so bad and they bring the sharks bring so much to the table. Yeah. 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 That I just sat there and at, at the end of the day, I just said, all right, my stopping point is 25%. But at the end of the day, just trust your heart and whatever, you know, I mean, Absolutely. it's the real deal. People don't realize it's the <laughs> yeah. real freaking deal. It look, I was, just, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was intense. It was just, it, what you felt at home is like a fraction of the pressure and stress and intensity of having all these cameras in there. Mark Cuban. I mean, it was crazy. You nailed the presentation. Absolutely. I, now we don't know how, and Mike and I are in, Mike and I are, we've done this in, in order to get a great shoot. We've had to film the same scene 35 times. So, I mean, your presentation look absolutely flawless was it as flawless as we see i mean is is that kind of how it went yeah well what the what part of the stressful parts of this whole deal is i thought when you go there you know it's reality tv which we all know is not real (laughs) and i thought you know you do your pitch and if you mess up start over and they literally said if you mess up you keep going because you get one shot Oh. And that's I felt like the world crash in on me because that security blanket was gone. Yes. And luckily, I, I had three days to really practice, and, and I, I did a pretty good job. I actually forgot kind of the ending of my pitch. It wasn't supposed to be like that but because uh, I was, like, blacking out. But I pulled it <laughs> off, so it ended up going going pretty well. Dude, it, you look like a movie star. And it's not because you're, you're, you're a good friend of ours, but you absolutely – nailed this presentation and i'm like i'm reaching in my pockets and i go i hope they don't they don't deal because i want to call <laughs> vance tomorrow i've got eight dollars i'm invested <laughs> but your presentation well, was you, absol- yeah your presentation was absolutely i i can't see i mean you and i both know that the fishing industry is a billion dollar industry and you're you're like you said you're just getting started so you you passed your threshold of comfort zone um you you called a Croatian a Polish guy. <laughs> so let me go back to that moment because I was kind of glued to that moment because the guy's face changed totally, like, blam. <laughs> How did you feel at that moment? You were like, uh-oh, I just screwed up. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot with a 306. Oh my! Uh, that was not that was not a good move. But you know, I've been watching that show since season one. I, I mean, I I was so dialed into that show before I even thought about I would that I'd ever be on it. And they always say son of Polish immigrants. And I studied all the sharks before I went on. Oh, and for call. some reason, I always just thought you know he's from Polish descent. And I made this custom line cutters ring I saw that, that was very challenging to make. I put a Polish white eagle on there, and I was so excited to give each shark their own custom line cutters ring. And then all of a sudden, this whole, like, everything played out perfectly in my eyes. He's like, I'm not Polish. I'm Croatian. Oh. I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> And then he threw it at me, but I caught it. Did that you was, see that? Oh yeah, yeah, we saw that. And you That's were like, so you, you were more, pr- you were like, yeah, in your face. <laughs> I know. I'm like, hey, I'm an idiot, but I, at least I caught my ring. <laughs> yes. You did. Oh my God, dude. And you know what? And 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 I wish I knew how many of of us. When I say us, and I say line cutters fans, you know, the the, the people who knew you before you went into this, because I'm like you, I'm I'm thumbing through the the parties. And and I'll and I'll tell you this, Vance. I do not have a TV. I I don't watch TV. I don't and it and I'm going crazy trying to find out where am I going to watch this line cutters TV. So and I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I first found out about your ring, it was from you know Alexis. Uh, she bought your ring and she goes, Hey, you know Rodney, look at this ring, you know. And and I looked at it and I went, Okay, well they sold one jokingly. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and yep. then I met you at the, you know, a couple of years ago at the first, my, you know, my first ICAST that I went to. And, and I immediately, I, I told you that story that day, as a matter of fact. Well, yep, I remember. And she actually pulled up her FaceTime and I watched you through her FaceTime. How awesome is that? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's cool. I looked everywhere to find, you know, to I th- I thought for sure I could just pull it up on the internet and watch you. And then of course, you know, I, I've seen it a hundred times after I've watched it, you know, fifty <laughs> fifty thousand times. So it, you know, to me, it was just I, I think we all felt like we were there. You know, um, one of the guys wrote you a letter and said he actually, it's, you know, he watches football and it's the first time he jumped up in the air and fist pumped. Oh, really. <laughs> Yeah, and we were all excited for you. You know, it was just one of those moments where, where, uh, you know, you just feel it. Now, you told me something when you and I spoke earlier today that you were on your way to the post office, and you said something, and, and I'm and I'm hoping you remember what it was. Um, you know, you're trying to get this product out. You have it's it's in your heart. So you know, you were rushing to the post office. Do you remember what you told me? Yeah, I mean, without sounding corny or cheesy, you know, basically everybody's saying, well, wow, you know, you're getting an order a minute since Friday and, you know, all this all this great stuff that I'm very fortunate for and, and it's exciting. I mean, I just, it's like a dream. But, but I also have a lot of pressure because, I mean, all these people that, you know, believe in me and now they've spent their hard-earned money on our product, I mean, I, I just feel pressure. I want to get everybody everybody all these shipments out as soon as i possibly can so there's a lot of stress like you know you're excited you want your product you've worked hard you put in the hours you get a paycheck and then you go spend something on you know for yourself and that's that's one thing that's this that's a little bit more stressful than anticipated but we're we're working literally of four hours of sleep a night for going on my fourth day um (laughs) and we're making it happen so i I just we've got the best fans literally in the world and it for that that shark tank episode was a win for not just me and my family, but all the believers that backed us even from Kickstarter. I mean, it, it was a, it was a win for our, our friends and anglers and supporters. It, it it was, and and that says it right there. And, and and I don't connect my Facebook, my my Instagram. I don't connect all those social medias for a reason. I I because I have different fans on each one. You know, the, the it's not that they're all on one. And I I post on each because I like that one-on-one feeling like you do. You know, it, it builds mm-hmm. value in your product. And you know what? Although, you know, you, you, you hear those guys that, you know, the, the millionaires say that, you know, turning Walmart down was kind of a turnoff. I think in the end, it just builds value in your product. I mean, it's more than a line cutter's. This line cutter's ring has Vance standing behind it, and to me, man, that that's that's the value of it. I mean, it really is, and and that, that's the number one reason I I don't fish without it. I mean, I don't dive without it. I don't gator hunt without it. I don't I don't do anything without my line cutters. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. I I appreciate it, and you know, it's a for a first run product. I think I think I did a pretty good job with it. Um, there's some things that you know, I can improve on. It's not perfect for every single person out there, but we have a huge community of professional anglers and professional guides that use it um, strapped to their boat rail. So that to me yes. just says, hell yeah, man. I mean, if these, if these guys and girls are using it that are professionals using it every day that I, I'm, 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 I'm very proud about that. Absolutely. And, and so I'm going to ask you a question. Where do you see line cutters going? I mean, are you, are you going to be, you know, w- with this eventually, I, I know we got to get through the first, the next year, your next year is just going to change your life. Totally. I feel of it. So are you going to research and development? Are you going to be going different directions with this? I mean, obviously you got the thread cutters. I, uh, you know, I didn't know you had the thread cutters until I saw it on, on the shark tank and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so where are we going with this? You know, wh- where do you see this going? All right. Well, the first thing is I got asked today, actually, about while I was waiting when you when you had your little snafu with the equipment, I was sitting here waiting and somebody had messaged me on Facebook and I'm trying to get back to everybody that I can. And he just said, well, congrats, you know, it was an awesome show. And, you know, guess I won't be seeing you next year. Ha ha. You know, at the trade shows. Right. So so I can answer the question in two ways. One is I'm going to stick to my roots and I'm going to do all the trade shows. I drive from Rhode Island to California. You know, I'll be doing all those next year, which is going to keep me busy. Um, and, and that's where I get from anglers telling me, well, this I like, this I don't like. And that's where I get a lot of my ideas from. So to me, that that's the foundation of our business is real life people telling me what they want, what they need, what they don't like, what they like. So I have to do all the trade shows. Now, the other thing is with the Damon John, you know, the, probably one of the most famous entrepreneurs on the planet right now, 
um, is he's got a whole entire team called the Shark Group. And this support system is going to be phenomenal, and it's really going to help me expand both thread cutters in the sewing industry and line cutters. Mm -hmm. And I've already got mm -hmm. two new products coming out that are one I'm calling a game changer because it's literally going to change the game. And then oh. in the quilting side, I've got this flat mount cutter that mounts to these $25,000 sewing machines. And a lot of people don't realize quilters are just as all over this as anglers are yes you know they're they can't take their scissors on airplanes yep. they're at home and they set their scissors down and their kids can get them or they get poked in the leg or they're wow. same thing where's my scissors so wow. yeah it's 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 gonna be a, a big exciting year uh but i'm definitely not gonna sway away from what got me here i mean i it, you know it's tempting to just say oh man time to cash that check let's you know i can let off the gas yeah you know, i'm, I'm right, right. gonna be floored and, and that actually ruins a lot of people. When they let their foot off that gas pedal, it can actually give you a false system security. And now is when you need you the most. <laughs> exactly. You're right on, brother. That's exactly it. So we're hearing about some new products. So um, on that same token, um, obviously, I, 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 I want to be a part of whatever you got going. So every time you come out with something new, I'm going to be playing with it. Because a lot of people don't know, as a hunter, I started years ago sewing my own clothes. <laughs> Um, because they really? didn't, yeah, they didn't put the pockets where I wanted. So I, I make my own hunting clothes. I put my pockets where I want, you know, I, there's just certain things that I like that they don't make and I make it myself and I've done it for years. Um, it, which, which, you know, which I'm working on something that will release one day down the road. Uh, and, and I will tell you this, you and watching you on shark tank, I've been sitting on this invention, this fishing invention in my head for the longest time. And you actually inspired me. I thought, Man, you know, your excitement, your energy, your charisma, I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I'm definitely pushing forward with, with my invention. So, I, I, you know, I'm gonna, while I got you on there, I'm, I'm going to absolutely tell you, you inspired me a thousand percent. And Well, that, that's awesome, man. I, 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 it, that's one, one thing, like uh, I had a teacher call me. One of her students is a uh, second grader, and he wants to be a professional fisherman. So she asked me to come and speak in front of the, her class, and – you know, they're second graders, so I brought, like, some stuffed fish, fishing rods. You know, I gave them each a line cutter's ring and, oh, you know, wow. just kind of yeah. told them a story story about, you know, like, do what you like to do. Don't just say you want to be a doctor. Like, do what you want to do. So that's that's one thing that I want to try and, you know, give back. And then these entrepreneurs or ideas like you have, I mean, I had to learn a lot of it on my own, but I had some amazing people give me some really huge help and, and – I think once you get into that entrepreneurial spirit, you want to do the same thing to other people. So, man, I, if I can help you at all or anyone out there that's listening, um, I'm busy. I mean, I'm, I've got a lot going on, but I'm telling you, reach out to me on Facebook. I will give you every ounce of anything I got to help you get it going. I, thank you so much, man. I know a lot of our listeners appreciate it. And I tell you what, I got a ton. Mike, I'm just blabbering over here. Do you have any questions or – um, I got a, one of my number one questions is, is does Vance make custom line cutters? Because everyone's seen the bedazzled, everyone's seen the <laughs> Eagle, every, you know, so their question, you know, I, I bet I've got 15 questions of, you know, my buddy Hector was like, dude, please ask Vance, does he make custom line cutters? Is that something that's kind of down the road? Because that just seems like it'd be a lot of work to make one single line cutter. Well, that, that's a great question. And, and now that I've got a little bit of financial help, um, I, I've got the, the capability to literally print any kind of business logo, somebody's name, oh. uh, anything that I'm a, I'm a li not, I don't need licensing for, like right. a, you know, a high school logo, a, a, a pro shop, a bait store logo. Yeah, that's coming real, real quick. Wow. And then I'm also releasing an American flag ring. Oh, and I really yeah. want to do a – yeah, a blue stripe ring um, for our officers out there oh, who uh, I thank daily. And then, and then lastly, uh, T. Roy Broussard reached out to me from Swamp People. Yes, yes. And he he wants an alligator skin ring, and that's actually currently underway, which it, it looks sick. Yeah, dude. When I saw your picture uh, of that, I'm like, how do I get that? That's cool. you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, that is. You know, that, that, that's absolutely going to be the thing. You're basically, you, I don't think you know it, and I'm going to call it right now, and I want to point something out. I called Damon six hours before it ever happened. 
six hours before it happened, I said, my words were on the Shark Tank's no, you post put was... Put your money on Damon. I said, yeah. Damon's going to be on this like a hobo on a ham sandwich. <laughs> is exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and I took a snapshot That's of awesome. it, and, you know, and I reposted it. And sure enough, you know, I, I was like, yeah. So That's I, great. I had like a double whammy. <laughs> you win, Damon called so it, and then cool. in my head, I won. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So I, it just it just all fit in. Um, uh, Vance, I can't thank you enough. Yeah. I am so absolutely glad that I got to meet you. Um, you know, and and it just it just fate the way we met. You know, at at the at line cutters, and when you pitched it to me, I thought, man, th- there's a lot of things going here than just this line cutters. You know, the best thing that this has for you and is obviously you and your brother, and 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 you're pushing it, man. You are absolutely behind line cutters when i see that line cutters logo yeah i see vance yeah you know it's just it's just i see heart i see passion i see i see this going places and i'm going to call it now you're going to be a fad like no other in the fishing industry in the next year to two years it's it's gonna it's gonna blow up well i i hope you're right ron and so far (laughs) you've been right so (laughs) i hope you continue calling the future and and uh, i got to tell you something I've been a big fan of yours since we met, and it, uh, I told my wife, she's like, where are you going? I'm like, I- I'm going to be on R- Rodney Rogers Outdoors, <laughs> and uh, you know, I expected her to say, oh, that's cool, and she she got all excited. She's like, are you really? You're going to talk to Rodney on the radio? Like, she's, nice. now my whole family's a fan. Like, it, it, so, yeah, we met. It's cool how we met. It was definitely meant to be, and I'm just honored to even be talking to you right now, to be honest with you. It's just been, it's been surreal well i'll tell you the honor is all mine and vance i can't thank you enough for for calling our humble little you know radio show and it's just i'm gonna be following you and i know all of my listeners they constantly post on it and they're gonna be following it and 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 of course you know you're up on our website you can go to rodenrogersoutdoors.com click on the line cutters give vance work to do wear him out don't let him sleep for a minute (laughs) stop him from sucking eggs uh work him to death vance i love you brother and i cannot thank you enough my man all right love love you guys everybody listening love you rodney appreciate all everything and uh yeah, man. I look forward to talking to you and seeing you soon. We got to go fishing, brother. I got to get a nine pounder that you lost. I you get, get one the of those, Florida. So. I'm going to take me. you to the secret, <laughs> secret place, and you're going to. I want to see that smile with that eight nine pounder on your line. <laughs> dude, that that nine pounder you had on there, man. I, I've had dreams about that thing. Dude, like, dude, Rodney's got to take me to that spot. I want to catch that fish. So <laughs> no one fishes that spot, just so you know, and. And this, I'll tell you this, Vance, right, the smallest fish we have caught out of that pond is four pounds, four ounces, and nothing smaller. There's there's no one-pounders in there we've caught yet. So um, we, we've lost, wow. my buddy Hector lost a giant the same way I did in the same spot. And trust me, to me, the video of it is way better than the fish for some reason. <laughs> and then it's just awesome. Vance, I can't thank you enough, and you always have a spot on my secret spot. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, man. All right, as soon as I get these orders out, I'm packing up and I'm heading there, Rodney. Come you on, have a dude. Great night, always guys. welcome. I'll see you later, <laughs> brother. <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bud. Mike, how awesome is that? It doesn't get any I'm, more I'm awesome sorry. I didn't even let you. Dude, I was just kind of in awe. I mean, I, was, I had nothing to add to that conversation. It was just brilliant to be you know uh, i want to say that you know i've been wanting to call vance and ask him how this was how the show was and, and how it went and i think this is way better does that i mean that we can get it raw and live and and i man <laughs> i don't know who's more excited no, me or vance or 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 me or you or mike <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like this because we we just jumped into it yeah we, you know we cannonball right into the middle of the pool Right. And so those who don't know, Vance makes a ring <laughs> <laughs> that cuts fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but that's what this this we just jump right in. I mean, and that's that's what I love about it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just Well, you know, there's there so much to cover there, but you just started in as old friends and Yeah. I mean, excite obviously it doesn't it's it's you can't I, deny the fact it's exciting to be on Shark Tank, and when you know somebody who's having that kind of a success, yeah, and deservingly so, right? You know the thing that, and, and 
here's here's my piece. Lay it on me. The best ideas like this, uh, through through the ages, are the simple ones that solve a problem. Right. Before we ever knew Vance, <clears throat> or you, or you met these guys, you know, you did. We did the the review on the line cutter. Right. Screen. Right. Because it was simple, it was brilliant. You fell in love with it immediately. Oh, it it worked. So those are the things that you. <clears throat> it's it's the it's going. The why didn't I think of that thing? Because they're they're so they're brilliant. The simplest yeah, solutions are so brilliant. But he put it together so well and executed. Obviously, he's you know he's got a lot of talents behind. You yeah. know What put this thing together? But then when you meet somebody like that, oh man, yeah. And you, it, it it just it just embraces everything else. Somebody who's just authentic and genuine, um, that does that deserves the success. I mean, you like a, a real human being behind a genius thought and a well executed design. I mean, it's just that's what that's why it's, it's that's the value. That's the success <clears throat> of the whole thing. When that, we met him at, exactly line, right. at at the um, iCast show, oh, you know, man. even you just wanted to. Like whatever that man's doing, I want a part of it because he right. he's he just shy. I mean, he is just on the fast track of you know those that, people. That man's gonna be successful no matter what he puts exactly. his hands to. Exactly. But, um, he took a he took a a simple idea that he had and um, executed to perfection. I mean, it's and, that, great. and that's and that's that's what makes me so excited yeah. about it. I guess because you're you know you're seeing the the step by step. You know yeah. the the here's when yeah. we started. Here's you know and and I did I I never when he pulled out his original line cutters. You know, I was going to offer him five hundred dollars for that ring that <laughs> you could you couldn't peel that out. So, so what? What's the line threaders? Oh, oh that's a bit, so it's a whole other industry now. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. The the thread cutters is for the sewing industry. Get out you know, of town. well, when I hook up all my archer equipment, you know, we use braided line for serving. I use my ring. I mean, that's how I serve it, and I cut it and I melt it, and I mean, and I didn't even think about bringing that part of it. I, I just use it for so many things that I take it for granted now that I've got my line cutters on and I'm doing everything with it. It's it's a knife on yeah. your hand. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're chewing line or you're like, you know, you're looking for nail clippers or something. You wear this thing, you know, like I do. Yeah. You put it on on the weekends, or I've got I've got so many that I keep one on a necklace that I use. I keep one on. I got four rods with them. You know, I keep one on my 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 little sewing table, and and, and I'm like, this is what this thing is for. So you know, well, they're I mean they're they're <clears throat> they're priced that you you need more than just one. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, and he has a deal. You can buy five for fifty. But I mean, you just go. You want, <laughs> you want to talk about stocking stuffers for the outdoor person in your life? Yeah, yeah. Or for the sewer now in your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For yeah, for for the, <laughs> for the seamstress. I mean, yeah. The, you, your mind can go when you get one in your hands. Oh yeah. Your mind goes wild. It does. Like, it starts I, clicking. You're like, oh yeah, I'm cutting clicking. something today. Some and you won't cut yourself. That's the cool thing. Yeah. You know when he puts it on his face and yeah, that's that's. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vance. Yeah, thank you for um, that. For, was, um, was an honor. Absolutely, having Shay. It was it was an honor to hear him that he loves our show. I mean, that's just just who don't love your show, who Rodney? Who don't love our show, I mean, man? Tell me, what's right? up with what's that? Up with that? <laughs> so where do you go from there? Do we do? Do we got like ten minutes? Do you we, want to throw? We, some? Yeah, let's. We got ten minutes. Let's throw it in I there, got Mike. Something we for can't. You. You've got mail. We can't letters. do it. We get letters. We get stuff. Another freaking email. Another freaking email song. Mail time. 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 Mail Rodney. Hef. Yes. Hef. I think it's Hef, not Hef, Jeff. Come on, Hef. Gainesville, Florida. Oh, Hef. Wants to know. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm sorry to, I, I, to break your, your duck. You didn't break my duck. Okay. Yeah, I got three of those ducks. You can't. Them yeah. ducks are tough. I've shot one of those ducks. <laughs> it lived. Hef from Gainesville, Florida wants to know, when hunting waterfowl, how do I determine the correct sunset and sunrise times for a particular location? Are you ready? And why is that important? Here's why it's important. You have to, used to, it used to say you hunt at safe light. What's safe light? So they have to determine because some people shoot at dark, some people, you know, safe light is subjective. 
It's sure. all relative. Sure, yeah. I, mean, I see probably better than you do, and you, you know, or yeah. we already know you. I w- see sun, way better. Than sunrise you. is not <laughs> touche. <laughs> sunrise not is not so, instantaneous. <laughs> exactly. Not like switching a light switch. So it has some... to have a time. So here's what I do. Ready? Yep. Okay. Let me do it. Ready? I'm ready. Siri, what time is sunrise? So, sunrise is at 6.54. So, that's at what time you can hunt ducks. Okay? 6.54. Siri. Sorry. I'm not sure what you said. Okay. <laughs> I love Siri. She's going she gonna... She to get a pow-pow. Siri, what time is sunset? 5.28 p.m. today. So, sunset is 5.28. That's your hunting hours. Okay. Ask Siri. If not, go to my FWC. If not, go to Moon Phases. There's a 10,000 places you can look at sunrise and sunset. Yeah, any weather app okay. can tell you pretty much when the... Yeah, look at your times. Sometimes they say 30 minutes after and 30 minutes before. If it says 30 minutes before sunset, 5 o'clock, you better be your tail okay. packing up and don't fire a shot. If it says 30 minutes after sunrise, then you better be, you know, you know, not firing that shot till after. Sure. You know, now there are some guys that, you know, they're the early birds and the late birds. You know, this is, they just shoot late. Don't be that guy. Yeah. Do I tell you again? It's a federal offense. Federal. <laughs> We're talking federal. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, Will, 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 Boca Raton, <clears throat> can you waterfowl hunt from a kayak? I'll tell you this. You can, and it's probably one of the best methods to waterfowl hunt from, from a kayak. Why is that? And here's a, here's a reason. A lot of people take these big duck boats, and they build these elaborate blinds. And when you start downing ducks, somebody's got to get those ducks. And the only way to do it is take your big boat out with all the decoys and the blinds, and you're, you're going out to look for your ducks. Now, some duck hunters down a bunch of ducks and then go look for them. Well, it's, you're ultimately going to lose a duck. If you're hunting out of a kayak, you can down a duck and go immediately right out there and get it and come back to your spot, you know, and, and then keep doing that. So, to me, one of the most effective and most productive ways is out of a kayak. Okay. I shot my first wood duck out of a kayak. Uh, I, uh, um, I went with a guide 15 years ago, and he had two kayaks, and he put me in a kayak, you know, camoed up, and I, I, I backed the kayak in a blind made out of palm fronds. I just backed it in. I shot a duck. I paddled out and got it. I came right back in, shot another duck, and this went on all day, you know, until I got my... perfect. So, kayaks to me are the best. Um, I'm going to get me a duck kayak, specifically for duckies. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So... Rig it it a certain way. Yeah, rig it a certain way and, you know, and just have it mobile. Right now, we have uh, a John boat and a couple canoes, and we have a small 10-foot canoe. that That's our duck getter. That's okay. our fetcher. Okay. And we hop in, and we paddle out and okay. come back. So, yes. Yes, it's very effective. You can. Uh, here's one from Dylan from Titusville. says, how can you tell a smallmouth bass from a tiger bass? Is there a way to tell if the smallmouth bass is female or male? That is a phenomenal question. I've never heard of a tiger bass. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I've probably heard of it. Let me, you know, I'll I'll get you that answer. Get back to him on it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, the smallmouth bass is... Male or female? Yeah, if you pick it up, uh, here's one of the, the best ways you to tell. You can tell by its bank account how much money it spends. Exactly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <Ba-doom, boom. laughs> um, there's a couple ways. If One of the easiest ways, if they're on a bed, most of the time the females are, are always bigger um, than the males. That's in, in the fish world, that's just kind of how that goes okay. with, with bass and smallmouth bass. So if you te- see two sitting on a bed and you see one fanet, most of the time it's a smaller one, then you'll know that's the male. But otherwise, it's really not a way to tell. It's not like you can sex a fish. You know what I mean? As far as picking it up okay. and looking at it. and One's not more colorful. I mean, like no, the difference no. between a turkey. Yeah, or yeah it's, not, yeah. it's not like the bird world. Okay. They both look exactly the same. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we got one more really good question here from Deep Water Forty Three. Uh, never been into bass fishing, but want to give it a go. I got an Abu Pro Max combo and have no idea what type of line to use. That's an easy one for me. Um, <clears throat> if, if you know, if you got a great reel like that, then you know, start it out with a simple braided line. Uh, you're gonna love it. It's gonna last a long time. And and if you if you don't fish very often. When you grab that pole to get ready to go fishing, it's going to be just like brand new. Mm-hmm. You know, um, where if you leave monofilament on for a long time, it'll get the line twist, you know, and it'll just be a mess. So go with Power Pro, 
30 pound test line and then that's going to be and it's a thickness of eight pound test line so it's great it's strong and you can leave it on your reel for 10 years and not fish with it and know that when you cast it it's just like it was the day it was new <clears throat> that's the easiest way to handle that that's that's always going to be my go-to till they come out with something better which okay. it'd be hard pressed to say they will uh, so that's a direct solid answer there it's 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 true it's how i would do it well played Mr. how Roger. i would do it you want to hear something <clears throat> um for those send in your questions absolutely email them to rodney at rodney rogers outdoors you can go to the website and there's a, a thing on the right that clicks up you can that pops up you can click on it and just ask your question to yeah. your voice we got one in today what? from your buddy Ashton. Oh, and I gotta play this because this is this is just <laughs> awesome. So if you don't mind, here's I don't mind at all. Th- and it goes something like this: it's Our biggest little fan. Our biggest little fan. That's good. Let's all be quiet. Yeah, I don't hear him talking. He's very small. Yeah, that's right. He's really tiny. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, is he talking yet? No, I guess not. <laughs> What about the camping trip, Rodney, where this thing loads up? <laughs> so <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about the camping trip. Next weekend, you do not have to RSVP. You show up at the island if you have a boat. Magasin Island in okay. Kissimmee on Lake Toho. The third, next weekend after this weekend. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After this weekend, yeah, the following weekend. Not this coming. Yeah, people calling you this Saturday. Going, <clears throat> and I'm going to say, hey, enjoy yeah. your trip. <laughs> Are we good? Is it there yet? Oh, yeah. Hey, check this out. Okay. Hi, my name's Ashton. I love Rodney's Rogers Outdoors, and I caught a catfish. What? Say no more. Say no more. Good job, Ashton, <laughs> on your catfish. I hope you ate and the catfish, because that is some good eating, boy. And I caught a catfish. I can eat me some catfish. But Thank go- you so much, Ashton. Yeah, we're going camping, though. Uh, the date. December 3rd and 4th. Um, you can come to two different boat ramps, come up to Kissimmee Lakefront or Granada. Granada is a little bit harder to find. So if you come up to Kissimmee Lakefront, it's a beautiful boat ride to the island. Uh, we have a phenomenal guy that will come pick you up. Big, tall, handsome, blonde fella, um, named Randy and his girlfriend will be with him. (laughs) Timing? What time? Uh, so just come anytime. When you get to the boat ramp, call the Rodney Rogers hotline at 262-345-345. 7763 you can also text it and then we will come and get you all that information is on the website it is on the website it's on uh facebook go to the events page uh click that you're going you do not have to it's just cool for us to know i mean we're just like come on man you know it's a free world it's a free world Uh, mike and i have said it from the beginning mike and i are going to be camping period yeah if nobody shows up Mike and I are still going to be camping. Yeah, one year we had six <laughs> people that wanted to go camping with That's us. That's exactly right. Another year we had like 32 that wanted to go camping exactly with us. Exactly right. <laughs> I think we're probably going to have 60 or 70 that want to so go camping So this with year, us. it you know, it's it's going to be, there's going to be, the island is going to be full of people. So uh, if you have a boat, it's a great paddle. If you if you come from, if you like got a kayak or a canoe and you want to paddle it, go to the Granada boat ramp because it's only about a mile away and it's a beautiful paddle. That's um Physically, the closest one. Or yeah, that's geographically that's, that's the, the closest. Geographically, one. that's, that's your, the closest okay. one. Gernada boat ramp. Just Google it. it you can't miss it. Okay. it. It's easy. You go down Gernada Road, and it's at the end. <laughs> yeah, and actually, if you go to the the event on the Rodney mm-hmm. Rogers Outdoors website, there's a, a map. Oh, of that's the right. Granada there's a map there. Wrap. That's exactly so right. Guide you right in. And it's if you know if you're taking kayaks or if you're like I want to take my kayak but I don't want to paddle out there. We got room. To put it on the boat, yeah. you know, uh, the, the the logistics of getting off the island will be a little hectic. So, you know, just be patient because we only got one boat running back and forth unless somebody else volunteers a boat. Uh, and then, you know, the rest of us will hang out and just, just enjoy it. Mike and I will be there early and we will be having the fun. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, like we do every year, man. I, I, I can't wait. This is my my time. Whatever you do come to have a good time just just come and go camping oh my there's gosh. no pressure it's a good middle of the holiday season bring some lights put on your tent whatever you there's there's we are encouraging yeah. lights so if you if you we're gonna I, i'm gonna go uh tomorrow and look for uh uh dc lights that run on okay. batteries yeah. and i will post a link where i found them yeah. and you know take your 
I'm gonna give something away for the best decorated tent. Oh, we have and to. or so I'm I'm we gonna to. I'm gonna I'm gonna have something. We're gonna give something away. Walgreens, CVS, Kmart, Walmart. Oh, they all have. Oh, all of them. Okay, okay. Yeah. I I've, I've never seen them yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, any. Okay, cool. Any of them. Put so them the best decorated in. tent will get something really cool. I yeah. assure you. I assure you. So Vance wants to go to your secret spot. I'm taking Vance to the secret, secret, secret. Not many people go get to go to the secret, secret spot. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that'd be I, cool. He he flies his butt down here when he slows down. We're going. That's just that's just how it is. Man, what a good so. Night. You know, but it, you gotta. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Can't give them all away. No. Sometimes you got to go find your own. Sometimes you got to find your own. We're going to find it. Mike, you got anything else? I got nothing. Mike, uh, Vance, thank you so much. Thank you for your family, uh, for loving our show. Yeah. Mike and I started this. This will be our third Christmas. Uh, it's Thanksgiving this weekend. I want I want everybody to have a fantastic, safe, it's a big travel yeah. travel day. Just be careful. You're not in a hurry. The turkey will be there when you get there. I know I'm going to eat a lot of turkey. Yeah. We eat a lot of turkey. Um, I get I get to bring my mom to my house tomorrow. Uh, her and I are going to cook my grandmother's famous chicken noodles, uh, homemade. We're going to roll the noodles out. Now I'll, I'll even Facetime live tomorrow. That'll be cool. So <laughs> you better. We're just going to hang out at the house, and oh, you know, cool. um, I haven't done it in a hundred years with my mom. So well, here we go into the holiday season. I'm super excited about it. So, mom, I'll see you tomorrow. And as you've said eighteen million times, you kids get outside and stay.